Tuneland, get ready. KCAU 9 Sports Zone is coming your way with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Travis Chin. Your inside look at all the local sports action begins now. We're the West Lion Wildcat cheerleaders. You're watching Sports Zone. And the highlights start now. Woo! Good evening, everyone, and welcome into the KCAU 9 Sports Zone. I'm Anthony Mitchell alongside me, Travis Chin. Travis, I'm feeling great. It is week Eight. It's hard to believe, but we're at week eight already, and we have a ton in store for you tonight. Top matchups, big plays, and of course, our top stop and player of the week. And just like every other sports zone, we'll start things out with our sports zone game of the week. A new chapter of the longtime Northwest Iowa rivalry written tonight in Siouxland as West Lion squares off with Central Lion George Little Rock in the Beef Bowl. How about that? Wildcats, the number one team in 2A with a 7-0 record. Lions looking for its fourth consecutive series win over West Lion. West Lions first possession inside Lions territory. Bryson Childress keeps it himself, breaks a tackle, and he is gone for the TD. West Lion up early, 7-0. Later in the first quarter, that's going to be the Wildcats striking. Yet again, this time it's Jordan Meyer going around the right end and outruns the entire Lions defense for the TV, TD. And just like that, West Lion extends its lead to 14-0. West Lion really come to play here tonight. Second quarter, same score. West Lion threatening yet again. This time it's going to be Evan Hildring untouched up the middle. And that's a house call. West Lion touchdown. Wildcats go up 21 zip. They go on to secure the beef bowl win 41-7 over CLGOR. And what a way to start the night. A big-time rivalry game in the final week of the Iowa high school regular season. It was a heck of a game. West Lion looks really good. But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action, starting with undefeated Sergeant Bluff Luton taking on the Bishop Heelan Crusaders. Warriors allowing less than 10 points per game. Heelan features 3A rushing TD's leader, Kaysen Thomas. He has 22 on the season. SBL at 15-10 third quarter, but it's Ryan Hoosing stealing the show out of the break. First play breaks out for an 80 yard touchdown. Big run makes it 21 10. Warriors and the Crusaders march right down the field. Case and Thomas driving in for the goal line. TD, both teams trade scores. It's 21 17. Plenty of offense, but a big defensive play here. Heelan looking for the first down. Picked off by Gavin Warren. SBL defense looking to capitalize. Warriors turn that into a Joey Hardy rush TD. Warriors stay undefeated, defeating Bishop Heelan 42 23. Up next, Lawton Bronson hosting OAB CIG Falcons with a different look at quarterback tonight, going with Jax DeGene. Under center, first quarter drive for the Falcons. Big gap right up the middle for Bodie Hansen. OAB CIG breaking tackles and strolling in for the touchdown. Extra point, no good. They lead six zip. Ensuing kickoff return for the home team, Lawton Bronson, landing in the hands of Riley Watts in the back of the end zone. Freshman going to break some tackles here. A nice return all the way out to the LB 35 yard line, but unfortunately, they can't capitalize. Second quarter, DeGene doing it himself, barrels in for the rushing touchdown as OABCIG beats Lawton Bronson 24 14. Next stop brings us to the War Eagle Conference as West Sioux hosts number five Hinton. Thanks to Metro Sports TV for the highlights. Falcons trailing up seven zip in the third quarter. Blake Wiggins on the stream pass. It's a trick play, the classic double pass. They have a chance and it works to perfection. That's a 69 yard touchdown. That ties the game. Under two minutes remaining, Gabe Anderson up the middle and hits Pater. North Dakota commit steps up in a big moment. What a play. And West Sioux at the one with 19 and a half seconds left. It's a goal line stand and Hinton holds on to defeat West Sioux 14 to seven. What a game and what a finish. That's right, Travis. Another Metro Sports TV game of the Friday night spotlight. Number three, Spirit Lake hosting Clarion Goldfield Dow. Spirit Lake strikes early. Caden Lunt hits Ethan Stecker for the 22 yard catch and run. Lunt's 23rd touchdown pass of the season. It's a beauty. Indians up seven zip. Later in the first quarter, Lunt, again, the Sports Zone Player of the Year finalist from last year, finds another stacker. This time it's Dylan Stecker for the long TD pass. Spirit of Lake up 14 0. Second quarter of action, same score. This time the Indians go into the ground game. Will Ditsworth going almost untouched. 60 yards. Spirit Lake up 21 zip. Second quarter, they roll in this one 42 0. A shutout over Claren Goldfield Dows. Our last Metro Sports TV game of the night is at Elwood Olsen Stadium. East High aiming for its third consecutive win against the Ames Little Cyclones. Tied up at 21 just before halftime. Cal Jepson and the East offense knocking on the door. Black Riders play works to perfection. Quick route open in the back of the end zone to go in front. Third quarter, Jet Sweet played a loud and grimsley. Hard to catch a guy with speed like that. Sioux City East, they go on to defeat Ames 56-35. What a game.
a big one for the Black Raiders there. We have to take a quick break, though. Don't go anywhere. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Plus, who will bring home our Top Stop and Player of the Week awards? Some good candidates in our remaining games, so stay in the zone. We are the Norfolk Catholic cheerleaders. Don't you dare touch that dial.